family. My name is Vicki Dillard for African Diaspora News Channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to give us a big thumbs up, thumbs up, and share the broadcast. That way other folks will be alerted that we're here. And for that, we say thank you so very much, family. Now, toward the end of last year, at the time of uh, this broadcast, um, President Joe Biden uh, when he was able to string two or three words together, even though he was still showing some signs of um, decline, cognitive decline for sure. But uh, when he was in the middle of a press conference, he deviated, obviously, ostensibly, we believe, based on information and belief, from the clear script that he was given when the press asked him questions about China's president, uh, C. Yes? So, um, I want you to watch this very brief clip. Mr. President, after today, would you still refer to President Xi as a dictator? This is a term uh, that you used earlier this year. Well, look, he is. I mean, he's a dictator in the sense that he's a dictator. Yeah, but the guy who's running for country that is uh, a communist country. Okay, did you see uh, Secretary of State Antony Blinken's face? He is visibly angered, visibly upset because you can tell that he, it, he went over with uh, President Biden, do not say, do not do. Why is this important? How many of you all know that behind the scenes, the United States has been causing dissension between China, between the Philippines, uh, between um, uh, its neighbors, its other neighbors? Uh, how many of you all know the United States has been fighting with China because of its gains economically and technologically? And the United States has been hiding its little dirty hand. Of course, China certainly is not a perfect uh, country. Nobody is. But we know that the United States has been waging all kinds of uh, uh, social and economic wars against them, trying to hide our hand. So one of the things the United States has been trying to do is to reset its relationship on the outside with China so that it's not so obvious that we're trying to make war. So, of course, you all know that the United States, uh, by and through um, its officials like um, Blinken and others, have been making some recent trips to China, right? And, of course, China has been letting the United States know where they stand by sending low-level officials to greet them on the tarmac. <laughs> I've discussed that here on this channel. So, family... When you see Antony Blinken, you see he's upset, not because the United States believes in, in, uh, that, that uh, President C is, is a dictator. He's upset that he said it out loud because they've been trying to pretend that they, they've been trying to uh, give it, uh, uh, do a PR brand so that they're not righteously and accurately accused of, 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 uh, going to war with China by using such language and doing other nefarious acts. I just wanted you all to see this because all of this matters, especially in ge geopolitics, especially in matters of statecraft. So notwithstanding all of the issues we certainly can point to with China, it is no question that the United States is waging war and has been for many decades in multiple ways against this country. And they've been trying to cover it up and Joe Biden blew the whistle. I can't wait to hear what you have to say about it below family, but let me tell you something. It is my contention that the ancestral realm, our spiritual realm is exposing even through gestures, the intentions of what's been discussed in the secret councils. Even when they go over the script, even when they say, don't do, don't say, she can't even hide it. And this was in a public press conference at the end of 2023. I can't wait to hear your comments below, beloved. Be sure to check out my website at vickiplanet.com for my wonderful school and products and services. I also have my own channel at vickidilla.tv. So be sure to subscribe. Again, go to my website at vickiplanet.com, V-I-C-K-I planet.com. And of course, share the broadcast here from African Diaspora News Channel. I can't wait to see you again.